Those effects of Storm Arwen are also still being felt in nature. Uh, the strong winds, of course, uprooted thousands of trees, particularly in southern Scotland. Now, one area that was badly hit was Dry Grange Woodland near Melrose in the borders, from where Alex Isaac sent this report. Storm Arwen had a devastating impact on thousands of trees in the south of Scotland as they were felled by violent winds. All across the, the, the east coast there has been significant damage in really quite localised pockets. Some areas have managed to escape unscathed, but those who have been affected have been affected quite badly. I think there are two kinds of trees that have been largely affected. Veteran trees, really old trees that have grown for hundreds of years and are actually in the process of dying back. But they're incredibly important for our environment and our ecosystem. So the loss of them from um, a forest is you know, irreplaceable. Uh, the other ones are plantation trees, non-native trees that were planted as a crop. Um, so they were due to come down at some point anyway, but not all at once. And that, that has created a, a, a logistical difficulty, but also in falling in an unregulated way, they've taken out lots of smaller, younger trees as well. Hundreds of trees still remained uprooted and they need specialist forestry services to get them removed. To clean up the effects of this, we really need to use contractors, experts, tree surgeons, uh, a lot of people to break up the wood, carry it off site, or indeed to keep, try and keep some of the wood on site as a habitat for invertebrates, bugs, mosses, and things like that. It's not as if our forests were in a particularly great and healthy position as it is. We're facing a lot of threats. We, the south of Scotland has some of the least native woodland cover across the whole of Scotland. So the little that we do have, we really do have to protect and look after as best we can. But it's not all bad news. There's an opportunity for new life in the forest. I, I don't think you should ever let a, an opportunity go to waste. It gives us an opportunity to think about the way those forests were working and manage them in a different way. Plant a new mix of trees, get more native trees in there into the mix to create forests that are healthier, more sustainable and better for the environment. Protecting the trees that remain and planting new native ones will take time, but they'll be part of the ever-growing national forest for years to come. Alex Isaac, ITV News, Drygrange.